What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Season. I am back with another video. If this is your first time here on my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because over here on Queen Seas TV, baby, it gets lit, lit. Y'all better ask about me. So, y'all know, it's Monday, and what do we do on Mondays? It's story time day, okay? Y'all know it's October, so let me give y'all a little, like, spooky story. Um, yeah, because your girl was shook, okay? Uh, make sure you stick around for the rest of this story because y'all, y'all already know how I am. <laughs> and, and this one is definitely about to get wild. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, okay? Hit it, hit it, hit it. Share it with one of your friends, and I'm gonna meet you in the story. When I come through, man, you know that I be big ballin'. Work hard, play hard, man, I put my all in. The deal's getting bigger, man, they won't stop calling. They thinking that I'm mellow and I'm just recharging. Work hard, play hard, man, I put my all in. The deal's getting bigger, man, they won't stop calling. They thinking that I'm mellow and I'm just recharging. Just recharging. Alright, y'all, so, listen. Yo, girl, I love fall, okay? I love a crisp day or night. You know what I'm saying? I love Ugg season. I love Sherpa jacket season. I love all of that. Like, don't I look very, like, fall, like, right now? Like, this is, you know, fall fresh. Purr. So, y'all, this story starts with five black people in the cabin. Don't this, <laughs> don't this sound like a, 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 a scary story or a joke for a bar joke? Five black people in the cabin, okay? <sighs> Y'all, this one took me. I was just laughing with one of my friends about it. I said, girl, do you remember? <laughs> girl, do you remember this? All right, y'all. So, this consisted of me and a group of friends, right? So, one of my friends, Kara, lives out in the woods, okay? Kara got a house out in the woods that she liked to go to. It's a nice cabin, but, you know, we city girls. We be in the city. She from the city. She have a house in the city, but she like going out to this cabin house. So she was like, hey, y'all, I'm going out to the cabin this weekend. Why don't y'all come up? for a game night. So I was like, you know what? That sound lit. I was like, okay, cool. Tell us what you need us to bring. I got games. Uh, we could do, I was like, girl, what could we order some food? And she was like, sir, you're coming to a cabin. Ain't no order of food, boo. You gotta bring whatever you want up here, right? So we wasn't planning on staying the night. We was planning on, we went up early while I was like, daytime and it was like i think it was in like pennsylvania like on the outskirts of pennsylvania and listen if y'all listen to my last story time y'all know i don't play no pennsylvania games okay i don't be having i don't play games in pennsylvania so she and so the cabin was like out on the outskirts of pennsylvania so i said oh well what you need is the brain i said okay well look girl on the way um, I can stop and get some chicken. Y'all know, um, ain't no royal farms out there, but they got sheets. Sheets is the gas station out there. I guess like the equivalent to like, um, what's y'all quick trip? If you live in the South or like a uh, royal farms or stuff like that. So I said, okay, but well, I'm gonna grab some chicken. I said, anybody want some drinks? So, my other friends was like, oh, boo, we bring the Dusay and Lemonade. I said, okay, cool. I said, this sound lit. We got the games. Everybody drove up there, right? So, I ended up driving by myself. When I should have drove with my friends, with two of my friends who we all live, like, in close proximity to each other. So, it really would have made sense for us to drive together, but... I don't remember why we didn't drive together. But anyway, I ended up driving my truck by myself. <sighs> Y'all, so as I was driving out there, child, as I got to a certain point in the road, you know, once I was getting way, 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 I was like, okay, you know, this drive is not bad. Um, It started getting dark. And as the sun started setting, it started feeling a little, I don't think, you know, 
a I, you know, a girl like me should be, you know, back here on these backwood streets. So I'm like, ooh, girl. So I'm like punching it. So as I'm driving, it literally gets pitch black. Okay. So listen, city darkness. Like, what time is sunset? Like, 6 p.m.? Like, city, 6 p.m. is, like, you good still. Rural country where the calves be jumping over the moon at 6 p.m. Gives pitch black midnight. Ain't no street like you on the back road. Miss girl, your high beams not even doing nothing, right? So, listen, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know I'm thorough. Y'all know I'm thorough and all that. I'm straight bored. I'm going all that, but look... I was scared. I was getting scared. So at this time, um, I was dating y'all know who if y'all I'm not gonna say that, but y'all know who I was just last dating. If you've been following my channel, I'm not gonna let you name it. Anyway, so um I had just bought my truck, right? So I had called him on the phone and I was like, look, it's dark. I was like, I can't see. I was like, can you I was like, I don't know how I didn't know how to turn the high beams on. Because y'all know with these new trucks, they got all these buttons and gadgets and gadgets. And you flick, you flick this and think it's for the light and the trunk pop open. And I'm like, look, I'm like, listen, can you Google where is this at? Because I said, I cannot take my eyes off the road. I'm like, it is pitch black. I can't even see, like, right in front of my car. I was like, I cannot see. Please help me because I'm about to cry. <laughs> like, it was, y'all, I was like, I was like... I was like, even Jason could right come out the wood. Yo, I wasn't even nowhere near the cabin. And I was like, the last thing I want is to get stuck out here. Because, listen, black people in woods and all that stuff, we always die first in the scary movie. So, I was like, it was not, I, I wasn't trying to be me. So, he finally told me, so he on the phone laughing he like, man, click the button. It's right in the back of blah, blah, blah. So he told me with a button. I was like, ooh. I said, ooh, thank you. I said, you just saved my life. So I was like, well, look. I said, you need to stay on the phone with me. I was like, because I am scared. Y'all, it literally was like a one lane. So then I had seen some headlights coming from behind me. So I punched it. Because I said, listen. Listen. I be watching them movies and Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all that stuff. And they could have been like, yeah, we... We got one year back here on the back road. Uh, she's been sitting here for five minutes in this truck. Get her. So I seen the lights coming. So I was punching it. I, I was punching it. I said, let me get out of here. So as I'm passing by, y'all, I'm saying Confederate flags and all this stuff. So I said, oh, Lord. I said, girl, girl, where you got me going at, girl? But I said, look, wherever I'm going at, I ain't stopping till I get the... So, y'all, I'm driving, driving, driving. So, then it came to a cross in the road, y'all. And it was not a, like, little road. It was, like, a big road. But it was no lights. And, y'all, it was cars coming from all which ways. I was like, it's dark. I said, y'all, okay, I don't know. You know how you get to, like, I don't know. Some of y'all might be from the country. I know I got to follow from North Carolina, Florida, and all that. It was like, you get to the end of the road, and you can't really see what's coming either way, but you can see it's a big road in front of you. But the only way for you to see is to chinch your car out. But if you chinch your car out, you're in the other road. So if the person don't see you, they're going to smack the front of your car. That's the type of road it was. So I couldn't see what was coming either way. So I literally was just sitting there, because I'm like, bruh. If my car get hit or flipped over and I be over in the ditch, who going to know I'm out here? Who going to come get me? I'm like, the service, I don't know y'all. I'm like, I got OnStar, but I'm like, is OnStar going to be able to find me out here? Like, girl. So, luckily, it was this big truck. Looked like Jeepers Creep. was Big Bubba. Whoever you is, Big Bubba blocked the road. And Big Bubba was like, uh, uh. Big Bubba had his um Confederate flag in his window, but Bubba... Blocked the road for me. So Bubba blocked the road. I was like, uh, uh, and he was flashing as I said to me. So I said, I guess Bubba's telling me to come. So I come and I turn and I put my head out the window. I turned it on. I turned it on this side. So Bubba, because I was like, thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba. 
Because, girl, listen, I could not see. So, I told him, he like, are you good? He like, what's going on? Are you okay? I said, no, I'm not really okay. I said, but it said I'm not far from the house. So, yo, I'm driving and driving with seemed like another end of the road. Then I see a farmhouse over here. A, a cabin style. I don't know what type. It was like cows out there, horses. I was like, girl, it was corn. I'm like, girl, how do you turn on the street? So then the GPS is like, make a right on blah, blah, blah. Where it was telling me to make a right at was a cornfield. It wasn't no, no, uh, it was no street sign, no nothing. But the thing was saying, like, make a right on Almanasta Road. And I'm like, there's don't no sign say Almanasta Road. I said, all oh, this is the cornfield. So I said, Whew. I said, I'm gonna take my chances. I, said, I told him, I said, look, I'm turning down a cornfield. I said, if you hear anything strange, call them people, call them folks, okay? So I turn in the cornfield. I get down to the end of the cornfield. So then it was nothing down there. So I said, uh-uh, baby. I said, I'm finna head to bus, this juvie. I said, no man, Pam. So I'm coming out. So I said, let me call my homegirl. So I said, Kara, girl, I'm in the corn. I said, what? What is going on? She was like, oh, girl. I don't know why it always tell people to turn down that cornfield. It's not that street. She's like, come back out, make a right, and then make a left, and then you'll see my house right there. She like, I'm, she was like, you want me to walk through the field to come meet you? I said, girl, no. I said, because if I see anything coming from in between this corn, nah, boom, 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 baby, no. No, I said, no. Come down to whatever road you telling me in. So, y'all, I go the way she tell me, Kevin Crazy Tail is out there with a flashlight going like this. I said, girl, you know better telling us to freaking come out here. I said, you should have told us to come out here at 6 o'clock in the morning when there was still light outside. I said, we cannot see. So, y'all, I'm the first one to arrive. So, I'm like, girl, it is a trip getting out here. I was like, you know what? So, as you know, I'm getting in, settling down, putting the chicken down, and, you know, putting all my little stuff down. I'm like, girl, it is cute. Because, y'all, that is Queen C's dream is to live in a cabin in, like, Utah or off, like, the Great Lakes, you know, so I could be alone so people could not get on my nerves. So, I was like, okay, let me come out to the cabin and see what they got going on out here. It was nice, but the only way that I'm living in the cabin is if I got, like, you know, a husband that's, like, John Wick or something, because it was a, <laughs> after that, it was a no for me. It was too much, it was too much going on. It was woods, cows, bulls, frogs, everything. I was like, mm -mm -mm. no man pain. Mm -mm. So, as everybody's coming, they calling her, like, girl, we're in the cornfield. So, she's like... She laughing. She like, no, telling me the same direction. No, come back out, make a right, make a left, then come down on this street. So I'm like, I said, girl, she was like, this happened all the time. So as everybody coming in, they like, oh my goodness. They like, it's so dark. It was a time coming out here. Blah, 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 right? So everybody settled in. We all have a good time. So, you know, the drink store, bro, we eating, we talking, we chopping it up. When I can say, y'all know how Offset said his time was at, um, with Kassanat. That's exactly how this was. It was so much freaking fun, like, being able to, you know, just kick in with everybody. Like, it was so fun. Like, one of the best days ever. So, as we playing the games and doing all this stuff, she like, oh, let me just run out back to go take the trash out something. And I said, girl, it is pitch black. I was like... Why don't you do that in the morning? She like, oh, we walk around out here all the time. I said, I just don't feel safe with you going out there. So we all looking, making sure she good. Because I'm like, literally, since she went outside, I'm like, you couldn't even see her. Like, even with lights, it was so dark. She was like, I got my flashlight. She like, girl, I be out here by myself all the time. I said, oh, you better than me. So as the night go on, right, we playing games. The people is drinking. We're in the... I'm gonna just say the house. Good looking saying. We're in the house 
And all I don't know, just because it was so dark outside, it was bright in the inside, and the lights was on, of course, in the inside. So everybody know if it's dark outside and lights on is inside, people outside can see everything going on inside and you can't see outside. Y'all get me? You get me? So I told her, I was like, it feel, I feel like somebody is watching us. So they like, oh my goodness. They like, Steve, shut up. They like, here you go. Y'all, they think I'm a conspiracy thirst. They like, oh, here you go. Stop. Da, 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 da. I'm like, no. I was like, yo, I was like, it's dark as I don't know what out here. I was like, every now and then, I keep seeing a light. It wasn't close, but it was a distant light that kept passing by like every two minutes or so. And y'all, I'm real like aware of my surroundings, especially like if I feel unco not uncomfortable. I don't know, I just got to give a discernment. So I was just like, I was like, no, nah. I said, close the curtains. I was like, it just feel, I said, I feel. It's, I was like, it's just giving that, you know, my kind of feel like somebody's watching me. You know, I was just like, can you close the curtains? I was like, this make me feel a little bit better. I'm like, you keep walking outside. So it, we literally had to go by and close all, every single curtain. I'm like, is the windows locked? Because I was like, this just feel like a bad, scary movie. Five black people in the cabin and we surround it. I was like, mm, I don't know. They like, shut up. Ain't nothing going on. So after we, you know, closed all the curtains and all that, I was like, is the doors locked? She was like, no. She was like, we don't lock the doors out here. We just, it just is what it is. I said, girl, what? I said, oh, I said, listen. I said, I'm a city slicker. I said, you know, and we would have to lock them doors. I said, I mean, even though we all know that locked doors only keep honest people out, but get them some time to have to finagle with the door before. I was like, oh, no, Miss Girl. Because we had already decided, like, it was way too dark for us to even attempt to go home. They like, oh my goodness, I wish you be quiet. They like, you always coming with some conspiracy stuff, with somebody watching you stuff. I said, I'm telling y'all, I said, listen, I said, I just getting a feeling. So I told him, I was like, wait, I said, watch this. So we was all sitting there. I said, turn all the lights off. I said, turn all the lights off. So y'all, we turn all the lights off. And, and guess what? And what what came right back? It was a it was like a light in the distance that came by like it tracked by slow. And I told him, I said, watch. I said it's gonna come right back around. And I'm like, it was no street lights out there. Your neighbors, it was no neighbors out there to be like, oh yeah, it's neighbors. It was no neighbors. And then sure enough, as we watching, two minutes. Came, it came right back around. So they was like, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe you're on the side. And I said, no. I was like, I was like, can't y'all feel when somebody is looking at you or watching you? Like, it's just a feeling you get when you, I don't know, it's just a feeling you get me feel like you've been watched. So I was like, watch it. So they was talking, they was talking. So I'm like, look, I'm timing it. Look, I'm John Wick Jerry. I'm timing it. I'm like, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. The damn lights came right back around. I said, look. Lights came right. So, Kara was like, what is that? Yeah. I said, it's something out here. I said, all these cars. I said, never been, you know, they probably like, oh, Never been all these cars out here. I was like, it's something or someone is watching. So I was like, oh, look, Miss Girl. I was like, I think you need to lock them doors. <laughs> so my other friends, David, Shorty, and Kiara was like, um, they was like, yeah, I think I agree. So Kara, she was like, let me go outside and see if I still see it. I was like, if you go outside, I said, I'm, I said, if it's someone, I said, if you go outside, I was like, it ain't going to come. So she went outside. Look, we was all standing the door because I was like, I know this, I, I know this your house and all, girl, but if it come back around or something, grab you from this darkness. I said, something come out the darkness and grab you, boo, we closing the door on you. So she like, no. So she went, 
And she stood on, like, on the porch. And we was, like, on the door watching. And we was counting. And sure enough, two minutes, it didn't come around while we was outside looking. So then we went back in the house. Talking, chopping it up. Then the lights start circling back around again. I said, somebody else. I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, but it's something out there. So they like, man, you know, some people like, man, we getting sleepy. So I'm like, we was never planning to stay the night. So I ended up calling old boy. I was like, hey, look, it's too dark. And I was like, I'm going to stay the night out here. So old boy, he was like, you want me to come get you? I was like, no, I was like, I'm good. Like, you know, you don't see my she like, I mean, I can come get you. I said, no, it's like really dark out here. I was like, I don't like it's dark. It's too dark for you to even be trying to drive out here to come get me. I was like, and if you come get me and take me home in your car, I'm still going to have to come back out here tomorrow in my car. I was like, it's just a few hours. Like, I'll be okay. Relax yourself. So everybody go. So camera go in her room to go to sleep. David was like, oh, I can sleep out in the living room. It was like a live. I guess you call it. It was like open space, but it was like couches and stuff. So he was like, oh, well, I sleep in the living room. My homegirl, Shauna, she was like, oh, well, I sleep in the living room. So I said, oh, well, the queen. I said, the queen need to go in the bedroom. <laughs> so I, I went and I went in one of the little bedrooms. And I was like, okay, well. I said, I'm definitely. Because I, I ain't forget about the thing. I said, I'm definitely. Not taking my clothes off. So, everybody, who else? Um, Kiara went into the room that was across from where I was at. So, basically, how it was built, it kind of, it was two levels. But the entry level was kind of like... I don't know how they did the infrastructure, but the entry level out back and the front how was level was like grass level. So I'm saying this to say if somebody was out back, they could just come straight in if they was coming in the window. You get what I'm saying? So you know how most of the time in the house, in the back of the house, if you go look out the back, you would have to jump down. It's like a long distance. So no, this was like grass level. Everything was on the grass. So it was like if you had if it was a fire and you had to jump out the window, all you had to do was like step your foot out when you was on the grass. It was like that. It was like level. So the room that I was standing in was in the back. So the back where I was at had a fire pit and it was just straight woods back there. And listen, if you're from the city, you know that woodsy it's loud to us because all you hear is crickets crick, 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 crick. it's crickets you can hear a deer crunching on the pine cone like it's it be loud to me so I was just laying across the bed and I was like I was laying across the bed like with my feet like uh like Superman so I was laying across the bed like this with my feet dangling towards the window and my head was facing the door so when i went in there i'm like let me close the curtains i'm like because i still feel like it's somebody in this vicinity it's somebody around here you know i'm all checking the windows i'm checking the closet because i'm like girl you said but you be out here by yourself do you do a walk through of the house when you come in okay do you go and check every door make sure ain't nobody coming here ain't no squatters you know what i'm saying people be watching you so i'm like girl you don't stay out here all the time you might even stand out here lately but you don't stay out here all the time did you do a walk through okay so listen i laid down so then i was just on facetime all night because i'm like all right i'm like look we done stayed up i'm like we done stayed up to two o'clock in the morning so i'm like hmm i'm talking to old boy on facetime so i'm like at six o'clock in the morning i'm like literally since the sun crack i'm leaving because it was just too dark outside i'm like since the sun crack i'm like i got to get home so we sitting there, we talking on FaceTime. So probably like around four or something. I was like, you know what? Let me take a nap for two hours or whatever. So literally I tell him, wake me up at 6.30. If, I don't even know if I was going to go to sleep. I was like, wake me up at 6.30 so I can go. So I fell asleep for a little bit. So literally I set my alarm too. So I set my alarm. I got up. I peeked. 
everybody was still asleep. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he called me like, hey, you up? I'm like, yeah, I'm about to wake somebody up so they can let me out and I could go. And when I say, so I woke, uh, who I woke up? I woke Kiera up and was like, hey, um, let me out. I was like, so you can lock the door when I leave. So I got up, I went outside and I ain't gonna lie y'all, that like, it was like the crispest, beautiful morning with like dew coming off the grass. Like it was so nice. I was like, yeah, I was like, these are the beautiful mornings you want to wake up to. So I went out there, I started my truck, y'all. And all I was thinking about, y'all know them scary movies when some uh when you when them people go to get in their car in the um in the belt be cut or the car be like cut, 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 like you ain't going nowhere. So I was like, Lord, please let my car start. I was like, first of all, it was right off the lot. And I was like, ooh, like I was like, hope ain't nobody cut my belt while I was asleep. So I, I go start the car so the car starts. I'm like, woo, cool. I'm like, woo, they ain't get us. So when I got up, David ran to the door and was like, where you going at? I said, I'm leaving. And they was like, hold up, wait for us. So David said he was going and uh, Shauna said she was going. They was like, hey, we all right. we all leaving together. So I was <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. So I asked Kiara, I was like, you leaving or you staying? So she was like, no, I'm staying. Yo. I get my stuff, I pull out, because mind you, ain't no driveway, ain't no pathway, it's just straight mud and grass. So I'm like, I'm pulling out, like make sure this bag of it ain't sunk down in the mud. So we pulling out, get back to the main road. So I'm like, oh, it's actually really, really, really pretty out here. So we driving, driving. And I swear, it wasn't even driving for 10 minutes because the roads were so long. We wasn't even driving for 10 minutes. I get a phone call. And I'm like, what is Kiera calling me for? So she called me and she was like, did you come? She was like, did y'all leave? Or, um, Did y'all come back in the house? I was like, No. So she was just like, hmm. I was like, everything okay? She was like, yes. Yeah. She was like, um, I just heard some movement in the room that she was in. She was like, I thought you had came back in because you could forgot something. And I'm like, I don't know. We've been gone for 10 minutes. I said, baby, we raid down the road. So she said, all right. So not even five minutes later, she called me back. Screaming, crying, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? She like, somebody broke in the house. I was like, what? Yo, when I say we literally had just up, I was like, what are you talking about right now? So she's like, oh my God. I was like, oh, fuck that. Look, bam, I clicked that phone off. I listen, you know when you turn, listen, you know when you busting the you, you know when you busting the you cute. You do it like this. You know what you mean business is when you come up under and man, pull it over in the middle of the road. I said, I swing the car around and I'm going back down the road. So David and them call me. They like, where you going? I said, man, they called me, said the police at the house. Somebody just broke in the house. They like, what? I said, oh, somebody just broke in the freaking house. Yo, we all turn around, all turn around. Get back in there. Why some man, I told them that somebody was watching all night. Why some man climbed through the window and they said he was standing over top of them. I'm like, what? Yo, what I say, I literally was just like, I, yo, I was, I was living. I was mad. I was like, yo, we left just in freaking time because they said, he somehow climbed through the window in the room that I was in. And I said, yo, that wasn't nothing but the Lord. Because, baby, if while I was laid across that bed, somebody would have
would have came through that window. <laughs> I would have tore his ass up. You hear me? They would have been zipping him up. I said that wasn't nothing but going. I said because the three people that left would have been the three people that would have sent him to the upper room. Yes. Yo, listen. I said what? I said he did what? I said, yo, y'all be sitting here talking about I'm crazy. Listen, I be telling my friends all the time. Listen, I got a gift. I can look at a person and say, no, I don't like them. And they say, why? I say, I don't know. I got a feeling. It's something that I, I'm telling you. I told them that somebody was out lurking. Somebody was out lurking. Somebody was watching. Somebody was, who's that peeking in my window? I said, I told y'all. I told y'all. You know, I didn't want to be too big because they was upset and shook out. I was like, I told y'all. But I said that was nothing but going. Y'all, if like for real, stop playing. Like, if I was laying in that bed and I don't sleep heavy anyway, and like definitely if I'm not in my house, I'm definitely like any little thing, I would have been like, hold on, I had to do my lashes look stupid. I was like, I would have been like, what is that? And I'm Lord John Wick. So I might have got in the closet or something. I might have got down. And when it came through that window, good doink, then I would have rang the alarm. I would have said, come on, y'all. And they would have came in. And all, I mean, listen, I know we would have went to work on him. And I was like, bruh. I said, what y'all mean? He was standing over the top of your y'all. This man was so crazy looking because the police was there. We got there. So freaking crazy looking. I was like, oh, no, girl. I said, y'all ain't tearing him up. They was like, no. They was like, we was just like so scared. Like, what are you doing in here? What are you doing? She was just like, we just kept asking him, like, what are you doing in here? Like, what? I was like, girl, he probably lived there when you, <laughs> he probably lived there when you ain't there. I was like, oh, no. Talk about spooky. No man pet. Listen, when you been back to that cabin since I said no mama. Like I asked him because I was, I don't know. You always say like, oh, this is what I would have did. This is what I, but you really don't know what you would have done in the situation. But no, I mean, my first thing probably would have been a like full blown like attack. But I was like, Cause I, I don't know, I was just like, y'all ain't bank him. And she was like, no. She was like, I was just like, who the fuck are you? And what the fuck are you doing in here? And I was just like, what did he say? And she was like, he just started like crying and was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, how are you so sorry breaking and entering in somebody's home? What? So then she said, by that stuff, she like, Cameron got on who house it was. She said, Cameron was like, oh my goodness, like, who, where, who, everything. It was just like, who are you? What are you doing here? So they called the cops or whatever. So I was like, yo, that's so dangerous. I'm like, he could have attacked you. He could have had a, a hatchet or anything. I was like, oh no. I was like, bro. I said, that literally was nothing but God that I had left. That I was like 15 minutes out because y'all might not have been. Seeing me on here telling those stories because I could promise you, I probably would have been so scared that I probably would just started boom, 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 boom. I mean, boom. I mean, I probably would have just, I probably would have went crazy. I probably would have went Mabel Simmons. I probably would have been like, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? I mean, yuck. I listen, I listen, I don't get it started. But I will end it. I am, I am the finisher. I am the equalizer. Okay? I'm the equalizer, the minimizer, and everything in between. Don't play with me. Don't play with Steve. And that, my friends, is why I don't do Catman trips. I don't do safari trips 
or nothing like that in between. And now, when one leaves, we all leave, okay? We ain't doing none of that no more. And y'all know I always give you a moral of the story. Listen, the moral of this story is black peoples. Scary movies that got black peoples in it don't never end well, okay? So, you know, y'all, the moral of this story is when somebody tells you something, believe them. The person that y'all think is crazy or somebody tell me you they got a feeling or inkling or something, believe them. Y'all, because they was all laughing and like, girl, shut up and all this stuff. And no, for real, it really was somebody out there. I don't know, y'all. I can just feel stuff. Like, when it comes to life stuff, I don't get into the love stuff. Because I ain't by, love is blind. And it will take over your mind. You can think. Yeah, what, uh, whatever the words say. Yeah, I don't, I don't give no advice or discernment about that. Because y'all know love is blind. But life stuff. When, my friends know when I say something, we all going to roll with it. Okay, I done told them time and time again. I be like, I told y'all so. I said, y'all don't listen to me. It could be a group of us and something go down when I say, no, I ain't with that. And I leave and they always come back. They be like, girl, why would you say it happened? happened? I be like, yeah. But like I told y'all, they be like, yeah, I know. I'm going to start listening. Start listening. If you feel something, guys and girls, we got intuition for a reason. If the, if you out somewhere and the hair is on your, uh, on your arms or your chinny chin chin or whatever you got hair that Stick up. You feel uneasy about something. If you get a gut feeling about something, if something feels off, if you start feeling off, believe it. We have indicators right here within self that know. Okay? So, with that being said, this is your girl. Okay? And I'm signing out. Happy October. <laughs> When I come through, man, you know that I be big ballin' Work hard, play hard, man, I put my all in The deal's getting bigger, man, they won't stop callin' They thinkin' that I'm